Hi everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing Think Central Lesson 2.4 in our Go Math Florida book. And Lesson 2.4 is about estimating products, and what we want to be able to do at the end of the lesson is it says here, how can you estimate products by rounding and determine if exact answers are reasonable? So we want to know how to estimate products using rounding and say if it's reasonable or not. So they give us two ways to do this here. We actually already did this back in chapter one with we practiced estimating and seeing if it's reasonable with addition and subtraction. And now um, since we're dealing with products, that means multiplication. So here's how we do it. Say, for example, they give us the problem three times 165. What they want us to do is they want us to round this 165. When we round it, we get 200. So now we're going to do three times 200. And we can use our basic fact of three times two, which is six, and then add our two zeros. So our estimate for the problem, 3 times 165, is 600. So that's our estimate. And then down here, they show us another way. They say, find the two numbers that the exact answer will be in between. So instead of just rounding our number to 200 and getting 600 like we did above, that's we rounded the one up because there's a six next to it. We're going to round it just to 100 this time so that we're getting the numbers that it's in between. 165 is in between 100 and 200. So they want us to do two different multiplication problems. Here's the three times 200 and then over here we'll do the three times the 100. Our basic fact of three times one is just three, and then we add our two zeros. So our real answer for three times 165 is going to be somewhere between 300 and 600. So we know that our answer will be reasonable if it is between 300 and 600. So let me do the real math, 165 times 3, messy, sorry, my pen gets messy when I go over there, 5 times 3 is 15, carry my 1, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19, carry my 1 again, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 more is 4, so my exact real answer to the problem is 495. We know that's a reasonable answer because it's between 300 and 600. Okay, so I hope this makes sense to you and I hope that you know how to round numbers and then see if they are reasonable answers when you do an exact answer to a multiplication problem. If you have any questions, just leave me a message and I will try to get back to you.